Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video where we look at my plans for Game Week 8. But before we do that, let's see who did well for Game Week 7. Top scorer for Game Week 7 in our mini league was Mike Schofield with MU for Life with 83 points. And that was with Captain Saka 32, Madwaki 10, Trent 8, Jossa 8, Havertz 8, Johnson 7 and that's all. So that was good. Very good. And look at that. Nothing on the bench. Very good. And top of our league, we have a new leader with Joshua Reynolds with Yarrow Wizard Harry. 68 points. And that was with Saka 16, uh, Martinez in goal for 9, and then Mbremo 8, Palmer 6, Canate 6, Havertz 8, Captain Harland 4, and that's all. And again, look at that. A great bench. Nothing. As for me, I'm all the way down in 395th. I got 36 points, which wasn't the worst score in the league, but it it was getting there. It was it was quite poor, but it was funny. And this is all about having fun, isn't it? So uh, it's not even worth looking at those numbers. There's nothing there, but at least I had nothing on the bench. So there's something to be happy about. So game week rank outside the 8 million, but I had no transfers. Overall ranks, oh, three... <laughs> <laughs> three and three quarter million but I'm genuinely I'm all right with that because I'm transitioning down my team to making it a very template team or a meta team and I hope to be there by about game week 12 so from about game week 12 I want to for sure be getting green arrows if I get another few red ones between now and then I don't mind my rank can slip it really doesn't matter I'll make it up I'm pretty sure I will so on the live FPL website I'm only four points inside the four million mark and it only goes down to four million. So if I get another red arrow, <laughs> I'm going to be on the bottom line. But that's still all right. 195 points off top spot, so I can still make that up, I think. Thank you very much to everyone who watches these videos and leaves comments and subscribes. But most of all, just watches them. So uh, as you know, I was chasing money. If we look at the FPL game week, you can look at the content creators league and you'll appear in it when you do that. And my team values are currently 103.4, or rather it was, at the beginning of game week 7. And the average content creator was down at 101.9. So I was 1.9 million better off than the average content creator. But my score was 407, and the average was 446. So that's 39 points worse off than the average content creator. But I'm hopeful, that's the plan... I'm hopeful that the money difference would be enough for me to have a slightly better squad and gradually catch up on the rest of the field. So again, the FPL Game Week website, you can look at the Content Creators League and see who's top and where you'd appear. And currently top is FPL Tips. They're on 528 points. And there's a bit of a funny story with them in that they publish their team and what their moves are online. And they've got loads of people, loads of managers copying them. So when you look... At the scores there's a whole load of identical teams and I think that's very funny and it's completely legit because even if you're copying a content creator you've still got to choose the right content creator to copy so I think that's fair play and then second place James he's currently not got Haaland so the next two game weeks if Haaland does well and he certainly could do James could be in for a lot of FPL pain if he doesn't get him in Ash is third I'm all the way down in 67th, which is second bottom. I'm only saved by one point by Yelena, FPL. Now, she's great. If, you, if you've not seen her before, she's totally worth looking up on YouTube. She does a great vlogging series where she records herself during the games. It's only like a short video, but you watch it after the event. And it's very funny watching her roller coaster of emotions as she realises that all her moves are wrong. So very funny, totally worth watching. And then I'm, what, two points behind Salah. Uh, five points behind Sirtop and uh, so that's six points behind Big Man Bacar. But I'm considerably wealthier than all of those. Maybe not in real life, but certainly in the city game. So my transfers, I made transfers last weekend, so like about 10 days ago. I sold Robertson because I thought he may go down in value and I needed some money. So I brought in Van de Ven from Spurs. And I also got rid of Diaz because he was definitely going to drop in money. So I thought I'd cash in for the money I've got. And I bought Saka, who is more popular, and my team is about getting the template player, so that was an easy enough move. Now, I did this before the international break. Well, it was during the international break, but before the games. 
So this was before Saka then went off injured and is flagged. I'm assuming he is going to be playing though. If he doesn't play, there's a remote chance I would do another transfer and get rid of him and take a minus four, but I'm expecting him to play. So the way my team is lining up is I've got Haaland as captain, so he gets to wear the old mule hat with his mates Edison and Lewis, and they're away to Wolves. I think they've had one clean sheet this season so far, but given I've got two Man City boys at the back, I really need them to make a bit more of an effort. I've currently got the vice captain with Saka. He's away to Bournemouth with his mate Gabriel. And I've got Trent at home to Chelsea. And I've got Smith Rowe. He's at home to Aston Villa. So he's playing against Rodgers and Watkins. I've got Mbremo away to Man United. Which would be an interesting game because Brentford score for fun and don't care about defending. And United just try to defend and they can't score. So I've got no idea if that's going to be a nil-nil or a 5-5 five -five or probably something in between. But that scoreline is going to be interesting, I think. And then I've also got Jackson away to Liverpool. And then on my bench, I've got Ramsdale at home to Leicester, McNeil away to Ipswich, Van de Ven at home to West Ham, and Bednarak at home to Leicester. So I've got decent-ish coverage on my bench, I think. And as for the background picture, some of you may have realised why we have a tree frog in a Star Trek uniform. It's because I read... That in the very recent past, the last few days, I think it was, new species of frog have been identified in Madagascar in the jungles there. And they've all been given names of different Star Trek captains, such as Kirk, Picard, Janeway, whatever the various captains are. So I thought, well, that's a sensible idea for a picture. And that's it. What happened in game week seven and my transfers that I've already made for game week eight. I'm not particularly expecting to have a good game week. It could well be a red arrow, but that's all right. I've got a long way to go yet. I hope you have a nice game week, Kate. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. <music>